Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my collector's playthrough. And uh, I just uh, read up a bunch of fire spitters, actually. So, no mutations, as far as I know. I just hatched a whole bunch of these guys. But, uh, like 16 of them, I think. These have all the best stats that I have available. And that took way, way too long, honestly. You know what, we're just going to keep going in a line here like this, and... There we go, that was the last one. All right, so this is my my future army anyway. And, uh, yeah, level 645, they come out with 18,300 health, um, 986 melee damage. And stamina wasn't all that important, but, you know, weight, probably not as much either. Movement speed, of course, isn't going to change. Mainly health and melee for these guys, since I'm not going to be riding on them. And, uh... This is how many it took just to get my stats to stabilize. That and the same with uh, my Uteranus. I finally got a good one. So I went ahead and put my, my UT breeding you know, ones away. But yeah, this has been annoying, <laughs> honestly. Also, I teamed up some trilobites. Go, go fish baskets. You can enable mating on these things, but nothing pops out. I was a little bit disappointed about that. I've got a cluster of dodos over here, uh, level 610 females, and then I have a 613 male. He actually ended up with a melee mutation, which is awesome. And, oh, hey, look, we got some more. And still just a single mutation, okay. And now I'm just going to grab all these guys and throw them back into here. And yeah, it's going to take a while. There were, uh, I went through a lot of babies. I really did. Especially since at first it was just one male and one female breeding. And then I got a second perfect female, which kind of sped things up a bit. But it took me probably another 20 eggs after that to get the perfect male. And at that point, I'm like, you know what? I, I've got to get a video done. I can't sit here and mutate the hell out of these guys. Although I will be taking my perfect male and perfect, one of the perfect females anyway, to uh, the Val with me. And uh, we'll be trying it over there as well. But there's more things for me to do in Val. The main thing about the island is uh, just getting an ascension, honestly. I've got other plans for the island in the future, but we're not doing that right now. So I've got these little guys. They're going to take a bit to breed up. And, uh, I'll see, I guess I'll see you whenever they're fully grown. All right, well, we have 16 fully grown fire spitters. And they're all imprinted. Not quite fully healed up yet. But it's going to get a lot more interesting here in a second because, well, I need to, you know, I'll take care of the, uh, no, not recovery mode. Um, you are, yeah, hey, you're, you're basically baseline, right? So I'm going to keep that one out and we're just going to do that, right? Now put you back in and catch all of these guys. So, okay, no new mutations. All right, that works. And same with all of you. Okay. I like how it organizes them all by level. There we go. And, well, you just got eight more levels. Almost to nine. How many levels did you guys end up with? 79 levels. Damn. So, let's get you up to... 
Okay, 100k, and then we're just gonna stat dump thrust into melee damage. Which takes a little while, right? 5,600. Now I made a bunch of these healing potions because I'm lazy. And I have to drink it while... Okay. Okay, you got a saddle? Good, I'm going to need to borrow this. Just regular base saddle. You guys got five more levels. Well, that was the one I was riding around on and wrecking face with. So I need one more of these healing potions then, right? Uh, the 100s? Yeah. I think that I have to use the potion while riding the dinosaur, is how it works. All right, because, yeah, you're not healed up yet. All right. We're going to take you guys over here, and we're going to line you up a little bit so I can keep track. And there it goes. Cheaty potions, but uh, I don't plan on using them in combat. Oh, I need your saddle. Dang it. Good seat. Unfortunately, you have to have a saddle to ride a fire spitter. Otherwise, this would be just a lot easier. But uh, I did finally end up getting a couple of fire spitter mutations. And uh, I got one... One food mutation. Actually, I got two food mutations. And uh, I got one melee or one health mutation. So. And here we go. And I don't know why I just put a potion over there. There we go. And. Yeah, these potions, though, they're great for, well, doing this. Adding 70,000 health to a dinosaur. Got the damn saddle. All right, it's actually 17. And one thing I'm going to have to do is go down this list and add in... Allow special AI attacks on all of these guys. Already laying eggs too. And it shouldn't really take all that long to do this, but it is very repetitive. And there is a turret mode you can enable as well, where you can bury your fire spitters, enable turret mode and special AI attacks. And when something attacks your base or whatever, they'll pop out of the ground, breathe fire on it, and go right back underground, which is a pretty damn good uh, deterrent, honestly. Or you could have them set to uh, to aggressive, and yeah, um, I did not want to enable mating on you. Uh, there's that. Too bad the allow special AI attacks though does not uh, work with the copy settings to uh, nearby fire spitters. That was a shame when I found that out. All right, so. One thing that made this easier. Why are you here? And you guys are almost... I did get attacked by a Dilo. I forgot these guys were... Uh, still thing. Now, I'm kind of curious, right? You have... The station skip, but you don't have this. Yeah, I'm not sure if that did anything or not. Okay. Because they technically can breed, so I don't think that potion is going to work on them but they don't actually breed because this thing did not pick up any baby trilobites, which is a bit of a shame. Oh my, the eggs never stop, do they? I just threw out, oh. Female dodo, okay, so I'm looking for a 615 and that's a 611, so he is in need of stat normalizing, but yeah. Are you a max level yet? I mean, you're just a hair under. Okay. So, another one already. And up. So. Uh, yeah, my dodo breeding is 
taking a while as well. Oh, I was gamming up. This is my health fire spitter, and it's almost fully grown. Unfortunately, it was in the range of my nanny, which is this Kairuku right here. You can put a dermis on them, and they will uh, look like whatever you want them to. I realize we can do. Um, put a hat on it since we got that dermis on there. There we go. We have an Admiral Kairuku. All right. So yeah, I just popped a one of my Kairuku out, got a dermis off of it. Downside, the nanny doesn't work with the HG generator though. Um, I don't know why. So I ended up building a tech generator. Well, I hopped over to Val real quick, grabbed a tech generator from there and brought it over because I didn't want to spend all my element on building a replicator. All right. So, although I could have used this. Uh, if I could spell, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. It builds a regular tech generator, but I do have the ability to convert. So, now well, here's the question, right? Yeah, I accidentally pissed off a Bronto, and they have a huge swing. It took forever to patch up all the foundations. Uh, can I craft this in here? I need 17 of these. I need... I have everything but fiber. Are you kidding me? All right. I mean, that's not impossible. I mean, I do have, you know, I got Freddy here, so it's not exactly the best place for fiber, though, but it, it shouldn't take all that long. I need 68,000 fiber, though. Well, I'm already up to 7,000, so I mean... It really actually will not take all that long. I just wish there were more bushes around here. There we go. Yep, there we go. I was going to say, I'm going to hit a dodo here soon. <laughs> and then it happened before I had a chance to say it. All right. Oh, moss chops, okay. Um, 38,000 so far, and seven levels, huh? I, mean, I guess I could bump harvesting levels, right? All right, me get out of here. Right, so 177 fiber out of that. Okay. 81 harvesting levels. Wow. All right, so I got 40 levels into power and 41 into delicate. Uh, 116 ish. Right. Hard to tell because there's there's no just like single bushes of the same exact type around here. But uh, it was yeah a, a decent increase before I walked uh, forward a little bit and got the uh, the one bush or I got another one next to it and yeah ruined my experiment so. Um, 76,000. Okay.
<laughs> Hello, Trike. It's a little annoyance that uh, there's not different classes of trees. I mean, there's definitely different sizes, but it'd be nice if, like, say, a Therizino could push over, like, the little tiny ones around here. But not, like, the, the big trees. But I don't think the Arc devs really kind of thought that to be a, a useful thing or something. I don't know. Or maybe it just didn't occur to them. But it would be kind of nice, actually. And it makes sense for a trike to be able to push over a tree that's only as tall as, you know, up to its shoulder, but. All right, and. Yeah, now let's try this again. This time 17. There we go. Hold for 15 more crafts. And this thing is a lot faster at crafting than I am out of my inventory, so. All the HG stuff is, which is kind of nice. And this is good. Wrapped all that up. It causes a little bit of a frame drop every time I uh, pull something out of it. That's kind of funny. All right, and this is the last one I moved. So... You can have that. I should have crafting skilled, honestly. But at least they're all the same. Yeah, I guess we just have to get our uh, army saddled up now. And I think next episode we'll be able to go after the Megapithecus. All right, so go ahead and... That taken care of, and all right. I'm thinking that um, see, this video should be coming out on Friday. Uh, Monday, I should have the next uh, spotlight videos done. Uh, we're going to start off with additional creatures paranoia. For one, I've been using it a lot in the series and got a pretty good you know, idea of what all they can do and uses and so on and so forth. Uh, I've been using actually Paranoia since I found the mod back in January or so. Thanks, Spike. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that looks good. And then I've also got, but uh, that end, it's, a, it's kind of a smaller mod. Most of the add-ons are, Aquaria is actually a pretty decent size. I'm not going to lie. But like uh, Kami and Roya have less than 10 creatures each, I think. Or right around 10 for Kami. Uh, Roya is kind of, I don't know about being defunct or whatnot, but uh, hasn't been added to for a while. All right. So I've got 17 Fire Spitters, a Pediasaurus, I've got a Uteranus, and my Red Panda. That equals 20 creatures. And this should be the army that uh, I take out the rest of the bosses with. Now, they are getting the fire spitters anyway. I didn't even check you. Did, oh, you got 45 levels. Yeah, I need to level you up a bit. Um, how many do you have? Can I not just run up your tail without a problem? Weird. Uh, you got another 26, so... Let's just make you, like, super tanky, then. Uh, 160. Can I get you up to 173,000? Okay. And you still have some health left to go, or levels to go. Uh, yeah, these guys, they're going to have a couple levels still. I could do more of the same. So what's going on here is my player gets experience for whenever I destroy the souls in... Ah, dang it. Uh, in this terminal, right? Not mean to pick up my own poo. Or that. There we go. And since I have the Riderless XP mod installed, yeah, yeah. Any experience I get, even if I'm at max level, 
get spread out to my, the surrounding dinosaurs. And it really actually helps a lot whenever you're leveling up an army. It cuts out a lot of the time, because otherwise, you know, you got to take each of them out one by one, which I've done before, but... I mean, if the only thing I did on this channel was simply just the series, I could do it without a problem. But it's not. So I don't have really the time to go out and level 17 fire spitters, even though it really wouldn't take all that long. Although, well, the amount of creatures I had to kill in order to get that, so it probably would take a while. But honestly, what I would do is I'd probably take them one by one into the ice cave and just hit that up a couple of times each. Seems to have about the, the highest level creatures. That is a swamp cave. But, uh, yeah, actually, I think that's a good point as any to go ahead and end this episode off. The next time, I will be taking on the Megapithecus, and then it should be the episode after that, we'll be taking on the Dragon, and then, then the Overseer. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.